hello you guys welcome to another cleaning video today i'm doing a realistic day in the life clean with me where i basically just film any time that i'm cleaning throughout the entire day and i put it all together in one video so i'll be telling you what time of day it is with timestamps when i'm actually getting this cleaning done because it's just a little bit here and there all throughout the day to get it all done and i'm also going to be showing you how i make my homemade chicken stock so if you are ready to clean you want to clean along with me or just watch to start to get motivated then keep on watching So the first thing I'm doing is starting in the playroom. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. At this point, my baby child had been up one time to eat and he had fallen back asleep and my toddler was still asleep. So I decided since the day before I did not get to the playroom, I wanted to reset it before we come and hang out in here all day long. I wanted to get it nice and reset and clean and be able to vacuum the floor so that when they're playing on the floor and I'm on the floor with the baby that I'm not feeling all gross dog hair and stuff like that so I'm just picking up all the toys putting back all the books I am going to wipe everything down with my Miss Myers multi-surface spray and I'm going to run the vacuum really really good in here and try to get it all cleaned up there's always dust and dog hair and dirt because the dogs and me and the kids are always in and out of the door we just basically run around all day long so i'm also going to be making sure that my scents are kind of refilled i just check them every once in a while and once in a while whenever I remember to so I'm refilling my little essential mist and I also refill the one in the bathroom that is next to our playroom as well because that one was empty too so I'm just going to be running the vacuum really really good down here and then moving on to the hard floor and the bathroom as well Last but not least, after I give a good vacuum, I'm going to be spraying the whole room down with some air freshener and then moving on to the bathroom. So first, I'm going to put some Ajax bleach in the toilet and then I'm just going to quickly wipe everything down. This bathroom honestly barely ever gets used, so I'm just doing a quick little dusting cleanup type thing and just getting that out of the way. And then I'm going to vacuum and mop in here as well, super, super quick, and just get that out of the way. I'm just using all my peppermint stuff down here still. I have the Miss Myers peppermint air freshener, the candle, the multi-surface spray, and the hand wash and hand lotion. And since we like barely use the hand soap and hand lotion, it is still super full. So I think we're going to have some candy cane scent down here for a while, but that's all right. Even if, even if it's out of season, it still smells really good. After wiping everything down, I'm just going to scrub out the toilet really quick and then I'm going to finish off the hard floors that I already vacuumed with the O Cedar Quick Mop just to quickly clean them up. Of course, I don't have time right now before my kids wake up to bust out the big mop and bucket so I just want to do a little quick mop down here and the last thing I'm going to do before they wake up is get some laundry going so I started the first load of my husband's work clothes I was filming this on a Friday so most of the time I will get one load of his work clothes done during the day and then my second load will be when he comes home and I can add that clothing basically that he wore that day to that load and that way Friday night all of his work clothes is already clean for the next week and I don't have to worry about anything like that over the weekend. So this is much, much later in the day. It's about 2.30 p.m. This is the very next opportunity that I had to clean because both of my children were actually sleeping. This hardly ever happens having a brand new baby and a toddler. It's like very rare that they're sleeping at the same time of day. So most days, these days, I do not get another chance to clean until the evening when my husband is home to help with the kids and everything. But today, I took advantage of the fact that they slept at the same time for about 30 or 45 minutes. They were both sleeping. So I had to tackle this absolute disaster of a kitchen. It was absolutely crazy. It had just been kind of building up over the last three days. 
um, or at least a few days of the week, and it was just out of control. Trash everywhere. As you can see, wrappers. We had a frozen pizza for lunch, and that was still, like, sitting out. You know, the wrapper in the box, that was still sitting on the counter. It's just crazy sometimes when you have multiple children. So, I'm just getting everything clean, cleaned up, clearing off the counter, and then I always start with the island in here just because it's kind of a smaller area. So it's easier to get motivated if I just clear off the island and wipe it down and start a candle burning. That way, let's say the baby does wake up, I know at least I got the island cleared off and there's one clean space in the kitchen for me to use if I need to make a snack for myself or something like that, that at least part of the kitchen is clean, if that makes sense. So did the island first and now I'm moving on to the dishes. I unloaded all of the clean dishes from the dishwasher and I loaded the dishwasher full again of dirty dishes and I still had some left over. So because I had the time and the energy and I wanted to get every single dish clean, I loaded that dishwasher full and then I just hand washed anything that was left over that didn't fit anymore because I just wanted to get all of these dang dishes out of the way and have a full reset in the kitchen. So after that gets all done, I am scrubbing out the kitchen sink with a bunch of Dawn dish soap. I like the antibacterial one mostly because it's antibacterial but also because it is the green apple scent and that's my absolute favorite cleaning scent of all time just scrubbing that out real good and then i'm spraying all the counters in the sink down with the miss meyers multi-purpose cleaner and giving those a good wipe down as well Last thing I wanted to get going in the kitchen was a homemade chicken stock. So the day before I had done a bunch of grocery shopping for the next two weeks. And usually on the day that I do grocery shopping, I also will get an easy dinner like a rotisserie trick chicken from the store. So here I'm just cutting off all the meat that we didn't eat the night before. So I can save that in a Tupperware in the fridge to put in a chicken pot pie or just to eat by itself, anything like that. And then I put all the chicken bones and skin and everything the rest of the carcass into my crock pot with thyme, rosemary, a bunch of salt, a bunch of peppercorns, and then a bunch of vegetables that I had collected from cooking throughout the week. So I had some red onion, some white onion, I had some celery, a green bell pepper, and I don't believe I had carrots actually this week. I just didn't have any, but usually I would add carrots if I had some. But this was just all vegetable scraps from the week. So like half an onion I only used and the other half kind of got dried out, so I'm just gonna throw it in here. It's not bad or moldy or nothing, it's just kind of dry and I don't wanna cook with it, so I'll make stock with it. Same with uh, the skins of an onion, the ends of the celery that you don't really cook with or eat, and the bits of the bell pepper that you don't really eat either, like the corn and everything. So I'll just save those throughout the week if I know that I'm going to get a rotisserie chicken. And so the next day I can make some homemade chicken stock. I put that with a bunch of water on the crock pot for about 18 hours. I won't touch it until the next day. And you will have the best homemade chicken stock ever. It will take all of your cooking to the next level and it helps you use all of your kitchen scraps that you would normally just throw away. It actually uses them. So that's always helpful. Just keep that in your back pocket. So now finally it's the evening. It is late at night. It's the very next time I got to clean anything which is while my son was taking his bath. My toddler, not the baby, of course. The toddler is very sturdy. I just put him in the bath and I wash him up. And then for the rest of the bath, he'll spend anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes just playing. So I have all that time that I still like to keep an eye on him that I would just be sitting in the bathroom anyway. I take that time to kind of clean up. So I'm just going to clear off this sink. I'm going to wipe it. I spilled some lotion. I'm going to wipe it down. I'm going to scrub out the sink. Uh, with a sponge that I only use I only use to clean the bathroom of course and some antibacterial soap and I'm just going to scrub everything down wipe everything down with some disinfectant wipes the only thing I won't do while my son is in the bath is use bleach in the t uh, toilet just because I don't want him breathing that in while he's trying to like enjoy his bath and I have the door closed to keep it nice and warm in there during his bath. But I will clear off the counters, wipe stuff down with disinfectant wipes. And then of course, once he is done with his bath, I got to rinse all that stuff down. I don't know if anybody else deals with this. Maybe it's just because I'm a boy mom, but when he's done with his bath some days, there's literally like dirt sitting 
in the bottom of the tub. So I got to rinse all that down and then I just sprayed the tub down with a daily shower cleaner and I will close up the curtain and let that air dry. And of course I did the toilet at some point. I just completely forgot to film it because I did it after my son was already done with his bath and everything. So once he is done with his bath, as you can see, we're now in his room for the night and I'm going to go ahead and wipe stuff down in here. It just definitely needed a little dusting, a little wipe down. So I'm just wiping down his little picture frames and his windowsill and everything like that. And I'm going to put away all the clean baby clothes that you see hanging on the crib and hanging or sitting on top of the dresser. I'm going to put all that away. I'm going to vacuum really good in here as well and spray down his room with his sleepy time spray because it was about that time but randomly enough I had gotten a package with the curtains that I've been waiting for to put in his room these really pretty olive green ones because he has kind of like a foresty green animal theme going on in his room so right when I was done cleaning I had my husband help me hang those up luckily the rod was already up all we had to do is take the rod down and put the curtains on it and hang the, ro the rod right back up because the rod had just been already nailed up to the wall just waiting for curtains to be on it for so so long and I finally ordered some so that is what we had to do right after bath time I wanted to just get his room clean so it was nice and fresh and he was just going to go to sleep right after this so after I vacuumed right here in the video is when I called my husband over to help me hang the curtains. You could see he was holding the baby while I was dealing with the toddler after the bath and vacuuming his room and everything. The baby was actually sleeping. So he just passed him over to me and hung those curtains for me and we're just admiring our work and how cute it turned out. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. It takes me so long to decorate the bedrooms because they're just the last thing on my mind for decorating. But once they are decorated, aren't they just so cute I just love his simple little animal theme I just don't know what to do to put on this big blank wall but we'll get there someday if you have suggestions definitely let me know down below so that is all for today that's all the cleaning I got done hopefully this was motivating and helpful to you if you are cleaning along with me and you are still going I have an entire playlist that I will link down below and at the end of the video and thank you so much for watching I will see you in another video very soon bye